from Loitering in Wonderland Studios. <laughs> With Phoenix West. Hello, citizens. Welcome to Things That Will Burn in Hell. Today's episode is a very special one. I say that every time, and it's never very special. But you know what? It's the first thing that comes to my mind when I start the show off. So let's just say it's special or something. It's special because women put this on in special occasions, I guess. Uh, some of them just wear it all the time. That goddamn dog is going to be the end of me. But some of them put it on no matter what. And uh, I'm just going to keep talking over him because he's being very rude right now. He's being a heckler. I don't appreciate it. Anyway, let's get into today's episode. You shut the fuck up over there? It'd be great. Nope, still gonna bark. Things that will burn in hell. Number 24, lipstick. I don't see what the appeal of lipstick is. Unless you're an actress from the 40s or 50s or a prostitute, then why bother wearing lipstick? I went to see Rocky Balboa in a theater in Gulfport, Mississippi, and saw about a dozen young girls wearing lipstick. Unless you're there up on screen playing an old-time actress, or you're going to blow me in the parking lot after the movie, then wipe that shit off your lips. You're not fooling anyone. Nobody has purple lips. You look like a fucking alien. If you're trying to look sexy, then you're failing horribly. I don't want to kiss you because I don't want that shit all over me. I'd have to have sex with you without kissing. Again, we're back to prostitution. The same goes for blue eyeshadow. What the hell planet are you trying to look like you're from? Nobody else here on Earth has natural blue skin above their eyes. You're purposely looking unnatural. Isn't the point of makeup to make yourself up to look normal? To hide blemishes? You're on the path of full-fledged clown makeup. That's a really short one, I, I realize. But it really does bother me. I, I don't get the point of lipstick. I don't get the point of much makeup. Uh, if you're gonna wear makeup, a little dusting is good. Uh, too much is overkill. You end up looking like a goddamn freak. Uh, when, you, when it looks like you're a different person when you take your makeup on, that's too much makeup. You, then you're stuck in that lie. Like if you start dating a girl and every time you go out, she's wearing the makeup, and you finally wake up with her in the morning and, and it's rubbed off, and she's kind of got like a Harvey Two-Face thing going on, uh, it's not good. It's it's terrifying if they sleep on that against the pillow and it wipes off and they roll over and you're like, oh, she's beautiful. Oh my god, that sort of thing. Terrifying. Don't do that. It's a, and the lipstick. Uh, what am I supposed to do with that? It's confusing. It just doesn't make any sense to me. It's not like chapstick. It doesn't do anything. Why put it? I don't. I don't get. I don't get it. It's the same thing with ties for me. This neckties. How did how did we decide on that? How did how did that come to be a thing? Can we stop high heels, lipstick, that sort of shit? And all this really goes back to prostitution for me. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. Uh, this looks icky to me. It, it looks like you would be disgusting to kiss because all I can think about is that shit all over me and then me having to wipe it on and I'm not the one that wanted it on in the first place. I mean, if you're not planning on kissing anybody or, or doing anything, eating any sort of food or drinking any sort of liquid, you're just making it harder on the dishwashers at this point. Uh, it's kind of a selfish attitude, really, when you think about it. Think of the dishwashers. The, not, the, not the mechanical ones, but the, the guys in the back. Uh, that have to, to, to wash your dishes. It's, it's kind of a dick move, really. And it's just inconvenient. I don't, I'm not for anything that horribly inconveniences your own life. You're doing this to yourself. Now you gotta like, eat all your, all your food with these lips out like, eh, eh. you gotta look like a Steven Tyler just to eat a fucking tuna salad. I don't, I don't get it. It, it just it baffles my mind. Uh, I realize it's a little petty, but that's, that's where I am here. Anyway, go to LAWstudios.com. Check out all the shows, all the videos, all the podcasts, all the stuff over there. YouTube.com slash Loitering in Wonderland. We got lots of stuff over there as well. All the same stuff, actually. It's, it's on both places, wherever you want to go. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. They all go back to YouTube. I'll be honest. I'm going to you know, peel this onion, look, take, let, let you look behind the curtain there. And uh, it's all the same. Do what you gotta do, though. You know, figure it out. Anyway, until next time, and in the meantime, I'm Phoenix West. I'll see your purple, red, pink lips, freak clown makeup asses in hell.